All right, guys, in today's video, we have some significant updates to go over when it comes to some upcoming PlayStation titles. So before we dive into this news, do me a favor, hit the like button to help the video out and show your support. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. The game we're starting off talking about is Horizon Forbidden West. We have been waiting for quite some time to get an update on this title. The last we heard were some reports that were claiming it was internally decided by Sony that Horizon Forbidden West would be delayed into 2022. And it turns out that was correct, but a lot of people were waiting for the official confirmation. We now have that official confirmation. The game is going to be releasing on February 18th, 2022 for both PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4. Gorilla announces this on their Twitter. They say Horizon Forbidden West is coming to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 on February 18th, 2022. Pre-orders will begin next week on September 2nd. Are you ready to continue Aloy's journey? And so this is a pretty big deal because this is easily the biggest game that outside of God of War, I would say that we know about that's going to be coming. And we were waiting to find out, you know, is this a game we're going to be playing at the end of 2021? Or is it going to be a game we play in early 2022? And so, yeah, I actually think this is a smart move and it seems like it's definitely a necessary move. I think Sony would love to get Horizon Forbidden West out before the end of this year, especially since Halo Infinite, I know they're two very different games, but still considering that game is seemingly hitting its 2021 launch, I think this is something Sony would want, but we know that Sony absolutely will not and should not compromise on quality and neither will Guerrilla Games. They know what our expectations are and I have absolutely no problem with them giving this game the time necessary to make sure it can be the absolute best it can be because it's gonna be a special game. And so it's interesting how it's literally almost exactly five years since the launch of Horizon Zero Dawn. Pretty cool how that lines up and I'm really excited for it. You know, it's gonna be a little bit longer of a wait but man, 2022 is shaping up to be an absolutely monumental year when it comes to game releases. I mean, in January, we're looking at Elden Ring, and then right after that, we're going to be going right into Horizon Forbidden West. So I absolutely cannot wait. February 18th, looking forward to Horizon Forbidden West. Something tells me it's going to certainly be worth the wait. But something else that Guerrilla Games announced to kind of cushion or soften the blow of this delay announcement is something that PlayStation fans, specifically PS5 owners, have been asking for for quite some time, and that is the Horizon Zero Dawn PlayStation 5 patch that will allow you to finally play this game at 60 frames per second. They say over on their Twitter, surprise announcement, we know you've been waiting for the enhanced performance patch for Horizon Zero Dawn on PlayStation 5 is now live. It unlocks 60 frames per second or a 60 frames per second mode, 4K checkerboard resolution, and it's free for all PlayStation 5 players. And let me tell you, this was a very welcome announcement. The internet pretty much erupted uh, with excitement when this was announced, and it just goes to show how long people have been waiting for this. And I think that this is absolutely the perfect time for a gorilla to be dropping something like this because it's like, hey, we know you're going to be a little bit disappointed knowing that you're going to have to wait a little bit longer to play the sequel. But in the meantime, we're delivering this update that we know you've been asking for. And so continuing to talk about this update, I came across an article from WCCF Tech, which actually talks about the uh, the way this update plays, you know, what is the performance like? The title reads, New Horizon Zero Dawn 60 FPS patch comparison shows solid performance, crisp visuals, and improved loading on PS5. So it says here, following yesterday's Horizon Zero Dawn PS5 performance update, a new comparison video has been released comparing the performance of the game running on the PS5 to the PS4 and the PS4 Pro. Fans have long been asking for a proper next-gen update for 2017's hit title, and out of nowhere, developer Guerrilla Games announced the arrival of this patch during yesterday Gamescom 2021 opening night live event. This enhanced performance patch for PlayStation 5, as Guerrilla calls it, unlocks the game's frame rate to 60 FPS, improves streaming performance, and defaults the game to 4K 60 FPS on the PlayStation 5. So how does the game look and run on the PS5 following the patch? YouTube channel L and listed the bits 
put the game to the test on the original PS4, PS4 Pro, and PS5. The verdict, albeit minor, the game appears to look somewhat crisper on PS5 compared to the PS4 Pro version. In addition, Zero Dawn now runs at a stable 60 frames per second, even in areas where the original PS4 and PS4 Pro struggled. Last but not least, loading times have been significantly improved on the PS5, and so obviously I will have this article with the video linked down below. Go check it out. It's definitely something worth looking at if you're contemplating whether or not you're going to play this with the patch based on how big of a difference it actually makes. And based off of what we can see here, it's definitely a significant patch and it's making a pretty big difference. So let me know down in the comments below how excited you are for Horizon Forbidden West. Let me know how you feel about the confirmation that it's being delayed into 2022 and it's releasing in February. And let me know how you feel about the Horizon Zero Dawn PS5 patch finally releasing. Are you going to go back and play it? I will be interested to see what you guys have to say. But moving on from that, we're talking about another game that I'm very much looking forward to. We got a release date for it, as well as some pre-order information. That is Sifu. So it turns out that Sifu is also going to be releasing in February. And again, we're just starting to see this theme of 2022 just being absolutely packed to the brim, pretty much overflowing with game releases. It seems like it's going to be a little bit uh, overwhelming, but hey, it's a good problem to have. So following a delay to early 2022, Kung Fu Brawler Sifu now has an official release date. Developer Slow Clap will launch Sifu on February 22nd, 2022. So literally just a few days after Horizon, uh, adding another anticipated game to a month already packed with releases. The Sifu release date was announced with a new trailer showing a few new locations and revealing that pre-orders are now open. You can pre-order Sifu on either the PlayStation Store or the Epic Games Store now. The standard edition runs at $39.99, so 40 bucks, with a deluxe edition coming in at $50, offering 48-hour early access ahead of the game's launch, the digital art book, the Art of Sifu, the original Sifu soundtrack by Howie Lee, and a 10% discount for pre-ordering, bringing the deluxe edition to $45. Pre-ordering either version of Sifu will also net you a special avatar pack and exclusive photo mode cinematic pack. So yeah, this is a game I'm definitely going to be supporting. Um, I'm not sure how much content this game is going to be offering, but I would assume that looking at the $40 price tag, it's going to have a pretty decent amount of content, right? This is a game that, look, I feel like it's the perfect blend of like martial arts and that cinematic style of martial arts that you see in these movies. And you always kind of watch these movies and you're like, man, it would be great to get a game that kind of you know, brings this into like a, a gameplay environment. You, I feel like we just haven't really seen that. And when I look at Sifu, everything I've seen of it, it seems like it's exactly that, right? So I, I'm going to be buying this game. I'm going to be pre-ordering it. It's going to be a day one buy for me. I really have to think how I'm going to balance all of these games that I have to play. It's, it's crazy to think about, but yeah, I'm very much excited for this. I'm glad we have a release date. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if you plan to pick up Sifu. If so, are you going to get the regular version or are you going to get the uh, deluxe edition so you can get some early access to it? Um, let me know down in the comments below. But we're moving on from that and talking about another game that people are very much looking forward to. But this game's actually coming out very soon. It's coming out September, that being Kenna Bridges Spirits. It turns out that the download size of this title has been revealed and it's not going to take up too much space in your SSD, which is good to know because if I'm not mistaken, Kenna Bridge of Spirits is a digital only download. There will be no physical copy of the game. And I'm not sure if they're going to be doing physical release. I feel like I heard that they are, but it's gonna come sometime after launch. I could be wrong about that. Maybe you can let me know down in the comments below. But reading from PlayStation Universe it says Kenna Bridge of Spirits is set to release from developer Ember Lab soon on September 21st, 2021. And ahead of that launch, we've just gotten another key piece of information about it, specifically how much space it'll take up on your SSD. And thankfully, it won't take up very much space at all. Twitter user PlayStation Size is once again. Uh, who we have to thank for the heads up that Kenda Bridge of Spirits will come in at a whopping, I don't know why they say whopping, 17 gigabytes without a day one patch, and you'll be able to preload the game starting on September 19th, so that's two days ahead of the release. So, assuming there will be a day one patch, 
we don't know the size of this as of right now. It could add a couple more gigabytes. I wouldn't expect it to be anything more than that. So you're probably going to be looking at roughly somewhere around 20 gigabytes potentially. And all things considered, that's not taking up a lot of space at all compared to some of these other games. And, you know, it is a smaller game. It is an indie game, but everything we've seen of it so far, it looks AAA, right? I think that Kenda Bridge of Spirits is probably the biggest game that Sony has coming out between now and the end of the year. I mean, I know a lot of people are excited for Death Stranding and you could maybe count that as well, but again, it's kind of a, a re-release. And then you look at Deathloop and nothing against Deathloop, but if I had to choose between these two, I'm going to choose Kenna Bridge of Spears. Luckily, I don't have to choose, but you know, I'm just trying to highlight that this is a big game that Sony has and uh, it's going to be interesting to see how well it does, but I'm definitely glad to know that it's not going to be taking up an absurd amount of space in my hard drive. So there you go. That's pretty much everything I have for you guys. I wanted to make sure to make a video focused on the games that we're excited about, give you an update on Horizon, give you an update on Sifu, and give you a small update on Canada Bridge of Spirits. Leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. Again, leave the video a like if you enjoyed it or found it informative. Subscribe if you're new, hit the bell notification icon, and feel free to share this video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys, take care.